Benita Rafin, maker of lyrical short films, is dead at 58 or dreamlike genius films about figures like Emily Dickinson and Buckminster Fuller hovered between documentary and experimental cinema. Benita Rafin made short experimental films about eccentric and unusual minds, like John Nash, the mathematician, Buckminster Fuller, the utopian architect, and Edwin Land, who invented Polaroid film. Her genius films, as they were known, are dreamlike, lyrical and suggestive. Not quite biography, they hover between documentary and experimental filmmaking. Ms. Rafin described herself as a cinematic diarist and an experimental B-I-O-G-R-A-P-H-E-R up from Astonishment, 2020, her most recent film, is about Emily Dickinson. In it, ink blooms on a page, butterflies pinwheel, there are empty bird nests, an abacus and various inscrutable shapes Susan Howe, a poet, and Marta Werner, a Dickinson scholar, are the film's narrators, but not really. Ms. Rafin has sampled clips from her interviews with them and used their words strategically, an Eva Cadavellian one sound fragment, Ms. Howe says, I can't be called just a poet. I always have to be called an experimental poet or difficult poet or innovative poet. To me all good poetry is experimental in some ways. Rafin was a poet in her own right she died at 58 on January 10th in New York City her mother, Rosalind Rafin, confirmed her death but did not specify a cosms. Rafin's films are in the permanent collection of the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis and have been shown at the Sundance and Tribeca festivals, as well as on the Sundance Channel, HBO, PBS and Channel 4 in Britain. She was a Guggenheim Fellow in 2019 Benita, had a wonderful way of flipping the way we think about a biographical film, said Dean Otto, curator of film at the Speed Art Museum in Louisville, Kentucky. When he was a curator at the Walker Art Center, Mr. Otto acquired four of Ms. Rafin's films, and she donated an additional TWO. She conducted oral history interviews with people who knew the person or were moved by the work, and then took that soundtrack and, using her background in graphic design, created these abstract images, Mr. Otto said. What she wanted to do was take you into the mind of these geniuses, imagine their thought processes and present that visually.